Hello. Welcome to another episode of uh, Coal Region Discontent. So, I'd like to uh, start this episode by maybe making a correction on my opinions video. Now, I posted a video about the Zerby Township supervisory meeting from the other day. And after that, I posted my opinions, and I may have gotten something wrong. Now, Kurt Mosser does not sit on the board of the AOAA. He is our, one of our representatives. He does not. But, uh, yeah, with this whole situation, I got involved by the reasoning for when I heard that maybe there was going to be a removal of the cross on the top of the mountain because that cross is a staple monument in our community and has been and will be if we have anything to do with it. Now, the other thing that was going on was the timbering with the AOAA. And, uh, of course, before, when I first heard about it, I heard they were going to have a meeting at the the local park about it and then they were going to go to the township meeting and they had already gone over to the county commissioner's office and the county commissioners see the thing is i when i first heard about it i uh my gut was telling me that well did anybody talk to the companies did anybody talk to the aoaa did they ask why they were doing it did they ask exactly what they were doing it with it and uh well i should have went with my gut decision but I feel like everybody needed to hear both sides of the story, so I recorded the Zerby Township meeting, and I also recorded a portion of the meeting from tonight at the AOAA. This is uh, August 16th, 2021. Now, I didn't have to ask any questions because they answered them already. I also found out about the money they make, and uh, one of their monthly revenues was $92,000, but their expenses was 77000 And they bought a Jeep for the company or something, and it was uh, $4,500. So, I was wrong on my figures about that. But I, I try to be as non-biased as possible, especially when it comes to things around the area. Usually, I don't even do local things. I do more political stuff, but I have been trying to get more into local things because there's some news going on around here. But, uh... Yeah, um, like I said, I, I recorded some of it. I should have recorded the whole thing, but I didn't. Somebody reminded me there. and uh, But I was digging for information. Like I said, I like to try to be non-biased, as, as non-biased as possible. Now, from what I heard and what it seemed like, like I said, I got involved because of the removal of the cross. And uh, the only thing was a rumor about the removal of the cross because of the Department of Environmental Protection was going to reclaim the land because of the mine fire and things like that. But that never came to fruition and never actually became a plan. It was just a thought, even though they should have, as soon as it was a thought, it should have been mentioned to lease owners, things like that. So, oh yeah, what from what I heard with the timbering thing, it almost me sounded like they were going to clear cut the whole thing. There was going to be runoff. They were going to put a road through there. There was going to be riders through there. And uh, apparently that wasn't the case at all. So, and they were willing to compromise and there may have been some benefits to it. There may have not been benefits, but nobody will know because, well, it's not going to happen. But apparently, maybe I didn't catch this in my video, but they're talking about there is a letter and there's actually a newspaper article about county officials knowing about it. So when they went to the the meeting with county officials over this and the county officials said they didn't know about it well what they probably really meant was well they didn't know that they were going to go at that plot they didn't know exactly where they were going to do it they so they they covered their behinds with it so they could have said that they didn't know anything about it when they only knew uh some information about it like I said, I feel like everybody needs to know the information, so without further ado, I'm going to play the video. Don't forget to share this video, to like and subscribe to the channels here at Coal Region Discontent. And remember, we are some new podcast episodes are going to be coming out with a co-host, and that's at anchor.fm slash coalregion-discontent. It can also be found on Spotify and a number of other uh, podcast broadcasting sites. So... Remember to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channels on Facebook, on YouTube, and podcast on Anchor. This will be a short video, but I just wanted to get the video out there to inform the people of what happened at the, the meeting for 
the Anthracite Outdoor Activity Authority tonight on August 16th, 2021. And here you go. All the money. The money was going to the county. The money was going to Zerby Township. And the money was going to the school district. Okay? That's where we are. The question is, and this is the big question that I don't know if anybody asked, because I'm not an environmental engineer. I don't know if anybody here is. Could this have been done to help the flooding on those uh, homes on the upper side of Zerby County? I think that was an opportunity for it. Okay? I don't know. Maybe somebody would say, no, that, that you're crazy, that won't work. Again, Sam already said we killed the project. So it was over with. But then this whole rigmarole for the last month. Okay? And here we are tonight. Yes? <coughs> Jane Cunningham, I live out there in Sherman Road. Uh, please, please come up to the podium. Jane Cunningham, I live out in Sherman Road. I've yes. had my house out there since uh, 1977. I was one of the people that used to ride the Charlie tracks. I've been riding bikes since I was like 14 years old. Well, uh, most of the people out there that have ATVs or motorcycles or whatever, we all have trails that left our house and went up there. You said that your biggest job was keeping people on your property. Well, the fences were not. It was in 2014 that AOAA went up there. Anybody that had a trail going up, they went up there with the big excavators, dug big ditches, put rocks down, changed the whole water system up there. 2014 is when I started to get water in my yard and in my cell. I have spent thousands of dollars trying to reroute the water, trying to keep the water out of myself. That's so much of a coincidence that I lived out there since 1977 and did not have water problems until the AOAA and their equipment went out and started digging ditches. And like I said, everyone that had a trail or a road or whatever going up to the trolley tracks, they dug it out, they dug it out very not at all ecologically pretty, it was awful. And that's when I started getting the water. So that is why I'm up in arms right now about trying to keep more water from coming down. So that's, well, you know, the, the right. well, is again. one thing I understand you're trying to do it the right way. But I'm saying I'm going long, long before the Stimbring project. This is in 2014 when the AOAA started digging niches and dropping trees and putting rocks around. And that's when we started getting water. So, so that's the history. Okay, thank you. And that's the first time we've heard that one. Uh, I'm Jane. K-O-N-Y-R-Y. But the fact is, in the paper, on July 17th, the county commissioner said we would kill the project if it was going to create water flow. Water flow. And that was four days or five days after Dan stopped it, right? So it was done, and we were going to kill it. The question, I, and I said to Sam the same thing. Well, maybe we should at least see if we could fix it. This lady has a problem. Maybe we could have fixed that. We know simple with water. When it runs down the stream, it, you know, if it's running down, as you spread it out, you know, you don't want to concentrate a flow. Dave was on the conservation district for years. You know, when we got our board together, we tried to have different different towns. Concentrated flow of water. We have it out here now. We have a lot of trails that wash out because we have a concentrated flow. Putting water bars in, doing things like that. Maybe there would have been something that could have easily fixed your project. And we could have did it as part of this project. Again, we're not getting any money out of that. But if, if we could have said to the logger, instead of giving us 100 grand, give us 80 grand and fix this for these people, it would have made a lot of sense. Common sense. Then I hear people are out signing a petition. I don't think the petition should decide if we should do this. You know, that's very risky for these residents. There's 90,000 people in the county. So if 300 people show up the next meeting and want this, they should do it? That doesn't make any sense to me. If it's going to flood the houses, I think that's enough reason to kill it. We've already said that. 
So if it's going to flood the houses, it's over. The question is, could it not have flooded?
I keep hearing everybody say, and reading the paper and, and the chatter and stuff, it's in my backyard, it's in my backyard. We're talking a property line that's 3.1 miles long. Most people's property out in Trevor, and their lot is 100, 150 feet wide, okay? 150 feet wide on a three plus mile property corridor is a very small piece of property, okay? And then to boot, it's 500 acres, and we were only looking at a 20%. So it's, it's, you're starting to talk lottery winning numbers of if it would really, really, if it, if it would ever even have went through, then it would have been in your backyard site. Okay? See, everybody just jumped the gun on this, and it's in my backyard. I can, nobody here can tell you where it's going to be because the tree wasn't even marked yet. Like nobody it. knows. Nobody knows. And I said that there's 222 people that really don't care. They just don't want it. And that's fine. That, that's yeah, your opinion, and you're entitled to it. Don't understand. No, we do understand. No, I think we, do understand. we do understand. And that's, there's 222 people that, that are concerned and don't want it. We don't have, what, that's a valuable piece of information. And once he heard it and related it to the rest of the folks here and related it to the county commissioner, that ended it. That ended it on July, whatever the mid-July was. But truthfully, but we don't have enough other We didn't have 220 people. You know how many people we had? We had one. We had one. It was you. You called me. Right okay? Away. And I called Sam. And I emailed all three commissioners. Okay? Your wife will get that information as a right to know request. Okay? Then, the newspaper called. I took the call. I could have blocked my call. I could have said no. I told him exactly where we were going to propose. Sam could have did the same thing. And it was over. Okay, but then let's bring all this other stuff up. Well, let's talk about getting a good neighbor. Okay. You got it. Yep. You want to be a good neighbor. Yep. You're going to, if I'm living next to you, you want me to be a good neighbor, and I'm going to do something in my yard, you'd rather be telling you ahead of time, you'd rather be put a fence right up next to you, or do this, or do that, be a good neighbor. That's part of the AOA image in Trevor, and it is not being a good neighbor. That's, that's your image. Whether you, whether you choose to believe it or not. No, we believe it, but we see what happened here. But it, all this is it, to do with it. But all this is for. But okay, but look at all this disinformation that went out on this project. And that's why I'm upset. Okay, what disinformation other than ruining a timber behind the river that was that was me and my wife's main goal was not to do that. And that's everything that's on your sites. All the, all the comments had to do with that. On our side. I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Yeah. It bugs me. And I don't understand a lot of the concerns. The one that bugs me is one that is for profitable gain. That wasn't up. Well, I, I don't know who it was. I don't I don't think part of your group. But I've gotten these things sent to me by email. They told this walk in the walk in Walmart that you know you guys are gonna make a ton of money at the expense of these people. And I should say the same thing. But frankly, I don't know. Somebody here posted about the lying or spreading lies and doing this on individual people. On individual people. He eventually put me down. Right? So, it goes both ways. Yep. I'm happy and the project is, is stopped. Who done it then? Good. I want it to stop. That, that was all we're going to vote on that. And all I'm saying is over the next year, five years, ten years, we might do something that you don't like. I don't know that. You might do something on your property that I don't. Okay? Come talk to us. That's all we're saying. Well, I if you have my like first fault. And well, what did I do? Give me a chance to respond then. 24 hours, Commissioner heard about us. 48 hours, all the commissioners heard about us. Okay? Within five days, it's in the newspaper. That is over. Okay. So the commissioners tell us that we that you guys got timber rights for it here. That's not true. That's not true. I think no. You know what he said to me. You have to take the meeting. Right. So, they did not, they told us they did not know that you were going to timber that particular section. Well, we also met with them in January. January, I think it's 12th. You can look at our minutes. They're posted on our website on January 17th. Yeah. All right. That Barry. Pat and I met with the commissioners. We usually try to meet once a year. Uh, they portrayed a little bit, I felt, in the meeting that we don't talk, we talk a lot. Okay? We felt, filled them in like we normally do. What we're working on, where we have grant applications, how many riders we had. We told them about the difference. Now, to 
be fair to them, I don't know if when you say parcel number blank, 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 493 acres in Zerby Township, to be fair to the commission, I don't know if they knew it was a both dance plus and such. Okay? I doubt if they knew it is. But, and we don't know if it is. We still don't know if this timbering project <coughs> We know where it was. But again, once you knew about it, then we were still a long way to go. So from a dollar store? Well, the county it's, owns. It's 3.1 miles long. The county owns from there. Yeah. Our part lease goes from there all the way out to, is it 2025? Almost. Almost to there. Almost there's a, yeah, mm -hmm. there's a, maybe some full companies on some property. Pretty much east from, from there east is, is private ownership. You know, they said at the meeting that we're at, we might have bought them out. We didn't, you know, we didn't make any other purchases. The only purchase of property that we made in Derby Township is that one. Miller Hill, there's a what it bought. There's two, you know, if anybody wants to buy property, there's two other properties right there now for sale something. Okay? We have not made offers on those other two properties. Okay? We bought that one. That does give us direct access to the trawl. Okay? We haven't added put any other trails on there. And since we haven't been using, we blocked the trawl. Now to answer another question is when we block, we've had a lot of people from from uh, Trevor, not even just in Zerby, one act direct access to the AOA. Well, once you give them in, then I give our riders the other one. These trails work both ways. Okay? So that's why we're not doing that. And the other thing, if we're going to do it, if I can't do it for you because I graduated with you, but then not do it for the next guy. So that's a big can of worms for us. Would we like it? So, where I live, you're welcome to come out. You look at the now, I'll show you where my property line is. I know where your property lines are. I, I checked them on the GIS. I know right here. And you look at that elevation, <laughs> you tell me how they're going to be. And not uh, the problem. Sir, sir. We don't even know if they were sir, that. The all, my opinion on the counties, all the county property that had any valuable timber on it was timber 20, 30, 40 years ago. That's why that timber in my opinion, still was never timbered. It's too steep and it's too rocky to, to be profitable, okay? That should have been timbered out of the forester's mouth 30 or 40 years ago to be profitable. Why wasn't it? Because it's too steep and it's too rocky. What does that tell you? It isn't going to be profitable today yet. That's why everybody jumped the gun on this damn thing and can we just get over it? This probably wasn't going to happen. Everybody, it, it, every, everybody here is like, this was going to happen. This was so far from happening, it's pathetic. And then, like I added, but my backyard, my backyard, nobody can say their backyard because nobody knows where that 20 to 25 percent is going to be over the 3.1 plus miles. So it may not even have been on the Shemokin end. It might have all been on the other end. Who knows? We don't. We don't know. And you should have called us before you were doing it. You should have said this section. This is who it's going to affect. We didn't, didn't know. We didn't know. We didn't get Nobody that knew. Point. Nobody knew. I told you there's there's three things we gave. Them. We gave four. Yeah. We didn't hire a logger. We hired a forester. Twenty five percent. Leave the stump sit and keep a buffer. Because we did discuss with him. The last thing we wanted to do is cut a tree down, say on your property. Because we now work with the GIS, whether you know this or not. You look at the GIS, we ran it multiple times. It shows the property line here. Yes. And sometimes it's 50 feet this way, and sometimes it's 50 feet the other way. And the only way to figure that out is to survey. Mm -hmm. To survey that whole mountain, builds the project. Okay? The bond builds the project. Okay? <coughs> so, all right. Thank you. I'm just, I'm just like that. I get upset when I, when I hear you guys get all the it. About what happened when the timber was not going to be behind your house. I don't think anybody. When something's going on behind your house, and you see get all and they get, get mad, uh, say I'm hurt, I'm this, I'm that. This is behind my house. Maybe. Maybe. Could have. Right. Maybe. But could have. That's right. Probably not. But anyway.
Well, the, the point is, you're, you're, your, your voice isn't louder than the other guy. If it wasn't behind your house, it might have been behind somebody else's. But the question was, was that person where it was behind getting water? Could we have fixed it? Okay, because we could have possibly used some. So, thank you. Could you have made it worse? I'd just like, no, I I just, I, Dad, I'd like to just add one thing. And it goes on to what Jim said. You people jumped the gun, and the AOA has done a lot of good. We've spent a lot of money. We've got a lot of, one, one thing we do is re, uh, conservation of natural resources. We are scrutinized by DCNR for everything we do in the, in the, in the conservation district of the Republic of County. We are under a microscope. Okay, sir? And when, when Jim said, if that, through this feasibility project study, which we are in, if we could have done anything, anything to help alleviate your problem out there with your water runoff problem, I have a big water runoff problem myself on my own property adjoining a county property, but we're not going to get into that. But this board has done more to help its neighbors and do stuff like that. And when he, he sincerely says that, and I'm going to tell you something, we could probably do something and wrote something into that contract with silt sock and retention ponds and diversion ditches and everything else there is conservation-wise to work. We probably could have got grant money to possibly help do that. So you people all jumped the gun, and I think you shot yourselves in the foot when we make this vote to crush it. All right. It is my opinion. All right. Thank you, Dan. Okay. I'd like to ask for a motion to cancel the contract with Port Forestry for, for a select cut timber management project in Derby Township at a cost not to exceed $3,500. So moved. No question. Any question? Roll call, please. Crowd? Yes. Smart? Okay, we are adjourned.